Hello. In this video, we are going to demonstrate uh, the idea of HTML blocks within Moodle. And we're going to talk to you about what those blocks are and how to uh, add and remove those blocks to fit the needs of your particular online class. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is get into your online class and yours might look something like this if you have some content already or it might be the default um, empty class if you're just starting out. So once you are in your class go ahead and turn editing on by clicking on the turn edit on button and that's gonna make our page look a little different we're gonna get a lot of uh, little icons that let us do different things and we will be discussing those uh, a little bit later. So HTML blocks are these chunks of information here. So here we have a latest news block, an upcoming events block, recent activity block, and so on. Um, each of these blocks serves a specific purpose. And you can uh, remove some of these if you don't want them. If you don't want the recent activity block, simply click this little X here and it will delete that, bo that block and your students won't be able to see it. But if you want to add a new block, down here at the bottom right there's a drop down menu and if you click that you can add a new block and there are a number of different types but the easiest to use, easiest to customize to fit your needs is the HTML block. So if you click HTML it's going to add a blank block here called the new HTML block. And you can edit this block by clicking the little hand icon here with the pencil and that's going to allow you to edit the title of the block and the content within that block. Now if you don't want this block to be right here you can move it to uh, a different portion of the screen and you do that by using these arrows. So let's say you want this block on the left hand side of your screen. So to do that what you're going to need to do is click the up arrow to get it to the very top of this column. That's going to be your first step. So we'll click this up arrow and notice it moves the block up one space. We'll move it up again and we'll move it up one more time. So now this new HTML block is at the very top of the right hand column and if we click the left arrow it's going to move that block down here to the bottom of the left hand column and we can either leave it there or if we want it to be moved up in this left hand column we will go ahead and click the up arrow again until we get it where we want. I'm going to say I want it right under my kind of welcome block that has my picture and my text here so I'm going to move it up a couple more spots and now I have it where I want and again if you click the little hand with a pencil it's going to allow you to edit this block and let's give it a new title maybe something like orientation materials something like that and here in the body of the block we can type a message for our students here you will find useful information about the class something like that and we could later uh, link files and documents and websites um, to have a nice place for our students to access uh, useful resources so if we click Save Changes, we now have our block renamed Orientation Materials and we have a little bit of content within the block. And again we could add our links and files as we, um, as we decide to make those available. So that's how you deal with uh, HTML blocks, how you create them, delete them, and move them around, and how you edit them. So our next videos we'll be talking more about adding content to the various blocks here on the sides and then how to add 
resources and activities, forums, things like that, to the, the modules here in the middle of the page.